Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Wahid Lutfi. I'm going to share my screen to show you what I have for you today. Uh, so basically, um, you're, what you're seeing is uh, my web university free educational videos, my YouTube channel. You're welcome to subscribe and uh, like and uh, dislike these uh, videos that I have posted. And I will uh, make sure that um, based on your comments, I make new videos. And that would be just fulfilling your needs. Uh, this time, uh, let me just show, uh, show you what I have for you today. And so um, I'm going to do a slideshow first. In this um, session, I like to uh, describe what is a database. A database basically has some application. You're using a database to store information, maintain information, and access and query on uh, all sorts of information from the database. The main uh, component of a database is the database management system, DBMS, which is right here in the circle in the center. Uh, so the DBMS is the core part of the database, like the operating system is, um, the kernel is uh, the core part of the operating system. For the database, uh, the DBMS is the core part of uh, the database. So everything is stored uh, and maintained and controlled by the DBMS and uh, it's controlled by that. So, and here in this graph, I, I'm showing on the left side is the actual database, but the interface uh, or the main uh, controller um, or the core part of the database is DBMS. And then uh, on the right side is the user and um, app application that are running. So we're usually uh, users are uh, connecting through a SQL client or some sort of apps or application to uh, connect to um, the server through um, API calls, application program interface. And this API calls are both ways. So it uh, comes into the database and the um, retrieved data will be just coming back to the application through a kind of message passing. And then uh, the data will be um, somehow manipulated um, by the application based on the needs of the business rule. So at this time, I'm just showing you what is uh, uh, DBMS and what is a database. Let's go to the next slide. The next slide is uh, the components of a database. So as you can see, uh, you need hardware for everything that in order to manipulate. You need also software. The main software is the B uh, DBMS, database management system. And uh, there's also on the platform that you're running on this uh, DBMS. So a, a database uh, could be installed uh, on a Unix machine operating system or um, on a Linux machine, uh, Linux operating system or uh, uh, Windows or Mac, the platform and then the operating system, whether there are Spark architecture or x86 or Intel, all those um, platforms that are running or Mac, uh, uh, Apple uh, platform, they are just uh, running on uh, a database instance uh, that database instance has to be ported on an operating system of uh, like Unix, Linux, uh, Mac is also uh, Unix, Solaris um, is Unix, Linux, for example. Um, we have uh, talked other uh, videos. I'm not going to go into uh, much details of the operating system. But uh, as you can see, there's um, other component of the database or um, so I'm going to go um, from the beginning, the component of the database is hardware, operating system, and, uh, and the platform that uh, that operating system runs on, and database management system, which is the actual the DBMS, the application and related software, all kind of software uh, could be running that are interacting with the DBMS, the data and information, which is itself, big data, data. The data access uh, language, usually this is a SQL, like a standard, standard query language, or um, SQL is stand, also stand for um, uh, structured query language, as well as a standard query language, because it's supported on all relational uh, databases. The procedure uh, in business roles and in the users, um, which are developers, um, DB administrator, and um, uh, all other users. And also the people, the people that, that they don't have to be users of the database, but their records and uh, informations that are stored as data into the database by DBMS. And those are um, what we are talking about as one component of uh, the database. Uh, 
So let's go with the next slide. Type of databases. There are um, a number of uh, types of uh, databases. Among those ones are uh, relational database, which are in tabular forms or relation between the tables. So they're relation one to one, one to many, many to many. All these uh, relational databases like Oracle, for example, MySQL, Microsoft uh, SQL Server, Microsoft Access, all of those ones, uh, they are uh, examples of relational databases. Hierarchical databases, um, they're an hierarchical top-down um, kind of uh, structure. Um, and databases that are uh, example of uh, them, uh, them is lightweight access uh, uh, directory protocol, LDAP. And LDAP is uh, lightweight and directory access protocol. And then object-oriented database that everything is uh, stored as objects. Um, and usually you use uh, programming languages that are uh, object-oriented based classes and objects. And so you could uh, manipulate data in the database as objects. Distributed database uh, versus a centralized database. Distributed uh, database or database that, that are distributed among um, multiple instances of database running on different um, uh, locations. Uh, one is maybe in New York, one is in Australia, one is in Germany, or maybe in the different states or different uh, areas. They are all distributed uh, uh, around it. Similar to like distributed operating system, distributed databases we have. Centralized uh, database or the database that are more uh, localized. So it's one company or one uh, kind of entity that uh, they are running uh, uh, within a, a local area network or maybe uh, even a personal computer a database that could be centralized that's only available locally to that instance of uh, the database that's up and running. Network database could be a combination of a LAN or uh, maybe uh, virtual LAN, um, VLAN, that uh, multiple networks, multiple LAN uh, could be connected and together. It's not like uh, similar to the data distributed, but network LAN sometimes could be a little bit bigger than and the centralized database. So it's between a centralized database and distributed database. Cloud database or the databases that are uh, stored in cloud, like Google Cloud, Amazon Cloud, uh, Facebook Cloud, all of these ones, they could have it inside an uh, entities or a company's cloud that uh, is uh, stored there as cloud computing. And commercial database or uh, databases that are not uh, free uh, of uh, like open source databases, uh, they are um, uh, typically uh, at a cost based and they are uh, more commercial based uh, databases that um, is for the purpose of a business. For example, Oracle database is commercial database. And then you have airline databases, then you have um, aviation databases. You can have all kinds of databases that are uh, cost based. And then usually uh, the difference between commercial and database and open source database on open source uh, databases, you don't get support, uh, you don't, um, uh, get any help uh, when uh, there's issue. But with commercial, uh, the vendor that provided like Oracle, they are behind uh, their product. They just support you uh, on the software and as well as um, any question that you have on the database itself. No SQL database. Uh, this is like uh, uh, the name stands for there's no SQL, uh, there's no tabular or relational database that SQL provides. As I mentioned earlier, the SQL stands for a structured query language because it has a tabular forms and then um, inside table, basically you have primary key, form key relationship with those ones, candidate key, alternate key, and a lot of keys which we will talk about and those keys on a different video. But um, this uh, structured query language also called a standard query language uh, sometimes because um, they are standard into all kinds of relational databases. Whether you use Informix, Sybase, uh, MySQL, uh, Oracle, uh, SQL Server, Microsoft Access database, any of those ones, they are uh, uh, the same data manipulation language, data control language, data definition language that you use 
mostly uh, is the standard uh, within those um, query languages. So that is why they're uh, there. And um, the NoSQL is meaning that uh, there's no uh, tabular form and the uh, structure is not in that form. It's uh, on kind of like storing the information on key pair value or document value or uh, some sort of graph or some sort of column. Uh, forms, and those are how the new SQL databases. And ex a good example is MongoDB, for example, that is using SQL database, no SQL database. And then um, also we are talking about a uh, list of sample of uh, the popular databases. The popular database uh, you can see here, um, Oracle is on the top because uh, that is actually um, one of the most used uh, popular database uh, there. The next one is uh, MySQL, and then the third one is MySQL Server. And those are the most famous one, even though I didn't put it in that order, but uh, it, is, it doesn't matter what uh, year and what, which one is the most popular. And the majority of these uh, are the most popular. Oracle uh, is a relational database, MySQL, um, uh, IBM DB2. MongoDB, as I mentioned, is no, no SQL um, based uh, database. And the Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft uh, Access, they're also relational database. Uh, Postgres is similar. Uh, it um, comes on every Linux and uh, Debian version uh, as the default uh, DB that you can install. MariaDB is similar to uh, MySQL. It is very nice. Uh, Solar Indexer is um, uh, uh, similar to NoSQL. So Solar Indexer, uh, I used it a lot uh, for Active Workspace and uh, Siemens product. And then this is a very good um, indexing for uh, the, the purpose of uh, you're not creating tables and uh, primary keys and uh, foreign keys and the table, but you can index and then a large uh, quantity of data. For bigger data, you can use Solar Indexer. NoSQL, we already talked about it. Uh, LDAP, a lightweight direct access protocol is uh, the last in the list. And this is not the least um, because lightweight direct access protocol, we use it all the time and it's very uh, great um, uh, database, hierarchical database, that's what it is uh, there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to just go back to my um, um, YouTube channel and then make sure that you are and just going to subscribe at this channel and then watch all these videos and enjoy it and then make some comments. So um, also um, I have this website, uh, my uh, webuniversity.com. You're welcome to also watch some of these videos on that one that I post and uh, learn uh, Linux on top of um, this, my uh, free um, book online everything is online on this book it's uh, mywebuniversity.com website that you log in and then uh, once you log in then you just basically go to the direct path to linux ubuntu it's, it has seven chapters you're welcome to learn them and then practice them online you don't need uh, uh, anything uh, or install anything all you need is a browser and internet access god bless you all have a great one take care bye bye